Hi guys, it's uh, Nemo Dane here. Today's topic will be Launcher and Patcher. We're going to be following the documentation by Code Spartan that he has up on the site. Basically what we want to do is uh, put together the launcher, have it working, make sure it pulls down uh, the start of the new game when we uh, put it up. I'll be following his documentation that he has online, so if you want to follow along, you can there. I will put a link in the vid uh, video below. Alright, we'll move this over to the side. Uh, I, have, I have starting another naming sequence for my uh, folders. When you package the game, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff to it afterwards, uh, which I've been reading. Um, I have an archive, basically a backup. What we'll do is we'll keep old copies or backup copies in here as, as we move along. Uh, I made a folder where we're going to store the full game versions and the patches. This is the patch system, which comes with the kit. I brought it over here so we can work. This is an actual copy. We'll be working down in here. Uh, when you start doing patches, you're going to need a from version and a to version. So I made me a couple of those folders. And then uh, I've redone the launcher. I've, I've renamed it so it's got my name. I just added my initials, SPO Launcher. Uh, I put the languages in a language folder, kind of cleaned that up a little bit, and I made us a cool little icon uh, for the launcher so it looks a little more authentic. And there's what it looks like when I create a shortcut to it. I created a little shortcut. We'll cover that in just a little bit. Uh, this is the packaged game, which uh, came from Downline. Downline, I mean, sorry. Which came from the kit. I'm sorry, not the kit. This came um, from the editor. This would say Windows No Editor is what this would say here, but I renamed it for my game. And this would be the packaged game ready for uh, distribution. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get ready and follow the documentation here real quick. So the first thing it says to do is to open the patch system. Uh, we're going to go down into the patch system. Then we're going to edit the target version. This is going to determine all our uh, target versions. Originally this has numbers in line 3, but you want to remove them. And it's, it just tells you up here, target version is one, each line, which one represents available patches, available full game, and the launcher version. So right now I'm at 1, no patches, available full game is 1, and the launcher version is 1. place the lines with your versions is what he says in the example all right then you would package your game don't use the pack file make sure that's disabled let's reduce this this is where we saw this in one of the other vid videos I have my game packaged here So now we're going to make an archive. So we're going to go down in the folder. This would say Windows No Editor. So I renamed it for my game. And we're going to archive it. So we'll right click. Going to need 7-zip, which was covered in the documentation. Uh, you can go download that. And we're going to um, archive this. Now we're going to want to name this. This is I had a little uh, issue earlier where I named it wrong and it caused a uh, download problem. But we want to follow exactly what he says in the naming. So it should say game underscore one. Hit OK. And that's going to start archiving it for us. I'll pause the video while that's going through it and we'll get right back. And we're done. So now we have archived the the packaged game here and what I'm what I do is I'm gonna move it we're gonna put it in the full versions and paths I'm gonna start storing them here because you this will start to fill up with your full game versions and any patches we do here so basically I would have just gone here and then and moved it copied it or uh, drag and drop but we're just gonna delete that out of here because I already have a copy of it then uh, we we opened this earlier and we did any editing that we need to here so that's that's done 
and we need to upload those to to our FTP. Um, I'm using file FileZilla to do my uploading. So as you can see here, I have already uploaded the game underscore one, and we uploaded the target version. So this is on my FTP site. I'm using a different. I had to find another FTP site that lets me create more FTP users. Let me grab the name of that real quick. So I now have an account. Uh, I went to Green Geek. Green Geeks. Uh, they allow you to have multiple FTP accounts and usernames. Because I set up one. I wanted to set up one just for the downloading, and that way I can set the permissions and all. You can use whatever hosting site you want but you're gonna have to set up an FTP uh, that'll be something you'll have to look up for yourself um, but I, what's good about them is I can have only see the exact folder that I want them to see they can't see nothing else so this is where I'm going to be storing all the uh, patches information all right now that we've had this uploaded the next thing we need to do the next thing we need to do is open the launcher data file so let's reduce this. We're going to go down into uh, this is the patch system that's been copied from the kit itself, and I'll, I'll keep this up original and not change any of the naming structures. So we're going to go down in here. We've already edited the target version. Let's go down in the launcher, and we're going to edit the launcher data file. So we're going to right click, and let's bring that into Notepad. Here we're going to put your information for your FTP. Now since this is exposed to the public and anybody can see your username and password. That's why I uh, opted to pick up an FTP that I can set the permissions on the folder and that they can't go do anything else with this information because this is not very secure. But we're going to use this. So this is going to link me to the FTP site, the login name, password, and this is where it's going to put our uh, game once it downloads it. Notice it says Windows No Editor. Uh, on mine, I have changed it. It now says Soul Binders because we uh, we've done it different. So once you edit this information, you'll save launcher data. As you can see, I just added another folder and I threw the languages in there. Uh, that hasn't caused any issue yet. Just kind of cleans it up. This is where we loaded down the game earlier with this patcher. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that don't need that anymore but we're not going to test with this because I made a copy of all this and I have changed uh, the information up on file on my server uh, now has the different pathing so I, I would this is essentially ready to work but then I copied it over we'll go over here to my launcher I just renamed put the letters in the front everything's the same and I added an icon and let's delete the folder So we're going to going to look at this in the notepad. Notice it updated to version zero. We're going to turn it back to zero and save that. Anytime this is set to zero, when it patches, it's going to uh, get the the first part of the game. So when you distribute your first launcher, this should be set to zero. They'll launch it and they'll get the the initial uh, game version that you have up on the site, and then we'll do patches from there. So I changed it back to zero for this to work. I'm going to move this over here to the side. And we should hit launcher. And had just a little bit of a hiccup there. Apparently it didn't like me renaming the launcher. So that'll probably have to be done uh, down in, in uh, have to edit that a different way. So I just change the name back to Launcher. You see me launch there. Shows the game is up to date because I, I changed. I already downloaded. It. I already closed the window. So let's open up the, the Launcher data. We're going to change that back to zero. Save it. Remember now we've set this to zero. So when it launches for the first time, which would simulate this if someone just got the uh, launcher downloaded, it'll patch the game. We're going to launch it, delete the files, and there we go. It's downloading the game. There's game one that it's bringing down. That's the one we just packaged a while ago. 
it'll bring that down and then it'll install it. While that's doing that, I'll look up the uh, information about the icon. I'll put a link into it. This is what I used. It's called Resource Hacker. I know it says Hacker, but it's a legit kit. And that's what it's called. Basically, you're just going to use this to change the icon. Uh, I'll put a link in it if you want to download it. Uh, it's installed right here. It's it's authentic. You can go to this website and check it out. If you're not comfortable with this, use any one you want. But I, I wanted to change uh, the icon for it. All right, I'll move that back over here. Um, just to let you know, I have an account now with um, stock images. It's probably something you want to look into. Um, you're going to be using images that you'll want to account for with no copyright infringement. So as you can see here, I go up and get images and I've already purchased some credits and then you can just pick through this and, and whatever you need. This would be something you may want to look into. Uh, that's the image that we use for my icon. Uh, maker, I, I purchased that image, so it's mine. I have to keep the copyrights uh, rules applied to that, and then I edited it to make uh, me a nice little icon. You know, I, I can use this on uh, several other parts of design. All right, now it's done. As you can see here, your game is up to date. Uh, it has created my folder. Remember this would say Windows No Editor, but I changed it now. It says Soul Binders Online. And there's there's the engine and the game itself. And there we go. I, I used to have the shortcuts that we left in from earlier. That wouldn't be in there, so let me delete that out. Alright, so we know that works. We launched it. And let's check it, see if it plays. Of course, the server's not running, so it, there's not going to be anything for it to connect to. But at least we'll get the first window. There we go. Uh, we could register and log in, etc., etc. But the server, like I said, no server is up, so I, I don't have nothing to connect to. All right, I'm going to close that out. All right, we've hit the 12-minute mark. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, we got everything working up to that point. Said to go ahead and check it and make sure everything works. We did that. All right. The next thing we'll do is we want to create a patch and then maybe get to update in the launcher. So that'll be that for t that'll be it for this episode. Uh, if you have any questions, post them below and I'll package uh, post the links for those items that I have. All right. We'll talk with you later.